But thank God, thank God, thank God we played a little defense in the first half. <laughs> Offensively, it wasn't very pretty. It wasn't very pretty for either team. But uh, again, defense creates the turnovers, creating the layups. Got us a good lead, but I didn't think we ever got a very good flow on offense. Question. The start defensively, I think it was 12 straight stops to start the game. I mean, what went into that? What did you kind of see? And what was kind of the. So we were really emphasizing, you know, trying to pick up our defense. You know, it's, it's late in the year now. Our defense ought to know the different sets of people, you know. Pretty well, people run the same sets anymore, so our kids ought to start, you know, playing better defense, getting a few more steals. So that was one of the things that we were encouraging before we started the game. And fortunately, we did that, created some good offense. But uh, again, lackluster, lackluster offense after that. Yeah. They were without two of their top scores. I mean, did that play into how you play defense? Do you pressure a little bit more because of that? Or? No, we didn't. Yeah. We didn't take that. You know, because you know, you, you, you just got to play with what the, you know what you're playing against and. You know, they're, they're always going to have good athletes. Yeah. The kids they left at home, these kids, you know, just as good as just, you know, probably not the flow play with each other. Yeah. But you know, that, that didn't have anything to do with it. We were trying to go into the game with, with the ideas. Right now, the next few games, especially at home, we're taking people out of their sets if we can. See if we're good enough to do that. Do you feel like there were a couple short spurts where you played pretty well offensively? I know there was one in the third quarter. It looked like you guys did all right there. Maybe just You're being kind, man. You're being kind. Uh, offensively, we don't need to get the flow. Yeah. If it hadn't been for defense, you know, it would have been a struggle. Our defense did a great job, but offensively, way too many turnovers and too many missions. Yeah. You're six and four after the first half of conference play. You kind of right where you want to be heading into these last ten games, especially with the three-game winning streak. Well, from where we started the conference, I'm, I'm glad that we're six and four. Uh, we made some improvements. Uh, I still go back to the Texas Arlington game. I thought we played well there in the last game. I thought we did what we needed to do and played really well. This game, I'm not too happy with it. So, you know, I, I was hoping we were progressing with this kind of step back. But, uh, you know, that's kind of when you get young bunch like we do, that's kind of what happens. But, uh, again, I, I would give them credit for the defense uh, to start the game. Uh, you know, that might have had a little bit to do with the lackluster. We got up and didn't leave and we kind of lost our intensity. But, you know, if you're a good team, you don't do that. From December 30th, when you started conference play till today, where do you think the biggest strides have been made? Was is it on defense? You think? Uh, probably the last couple of games. Yeah, I think our defense is getting better, and then I think offensively, not that we didn't show it tonight, but offensively, up until tonight, I thought our flow on offense, knowing where to go, how to move, and cut, I thought it was a lot better. But uh, yeah. like I say, we got to go back and draw more a little bit. Getting going. It looked like for at least to start, Chardet was getting good shots. I mean, was that good to see to start and maybe just not for the whole game? Or? Well, Chardet, like, you know, we, we're trying to get Chardet yeah. shots. We're trying to get, you know, for a parameter. Chardet's shooting 40% from the three point line. You don't need to make kids. But she's got to get more aggressive. She's got to get more aggressive. And, you know, that's just, a, again, a kid that's not played much basketball for us, even though she's a junior. She hadn't yeah. played hard any. And she's got to decide whether she's going to take that shot or not. We, you know, it's not up to the coaching staff. She's got the green light. Any kid I've ever given green light, she's got the green light. So she's got to take advantage of that. She's got to work. You know, AD again. You know, I don't know up and down, up and down. But Charnay's, you know, that's the one we're trying because she's big. She's driving. She can do a lot of things. So if we can get her going, and then AD, you know, figures out and starts playing well, and then you know, you got two shooters, and most players have been scoring pretty well. So. You know, that's what we got to have to be a good team. Chardonnay's got to take shot. Any other questions? Coach Foley? Coach Lynn, when AD is facilitating like she is tonight, nine assists, but that shot's not falling, like, how do you coach that? Like, how do you? She like, came, she came over there at the bench, and, and, you know, it's, it's finally, you know, we've been around each other for two years now, and it's getting that kind of relationship. She, she came over the bench, she just shook her head, she said, Coach, she said, I don't know, man. I said, hey, that's when you make a sense. That's when you go to work. And that's what she did. And that's what she's got to understand. If she's good enough, she can change games with her ball handling and her passing. And she's got to take advantage of that. So you're right. That's that's what I told her. I said, hey, if it's not fun, just pick them apart. Have fun. So she kind of did that. So that was good. Good point. Anything else? Thank you, Coach.